hey guys welcome back to my channel i know i've been like missing for a while now but i apologize because i've been so busy but i promise you guys i will be getting some videos up coming march because this whole month i've been just i don't know and i feel so bad because i wanted to do so many videos for you guys but i just wasn't motivated and i was really really busy so just know this coming month there will be a lot of videos going up for you guys because i have so many videos on my phone that i would like to do and recreate so i gotta get it done but i finally got some time to do a video for you guys and i decided to do this look that was kind of inspired by time the infamous i love her i love all her looks i love how she's so much into colors so this was like inspired by her and another similar look that my best friend sent me a picture of so i just felt like recreating it with a mix of her look and that look that i saw so yeah i hope you guys enjoy it and it's also similar to the previous sunset look that i did which you guys are probably like where's that video yeah the video is no longer on my page i took it down only because i was getting rid of like old videos but yeah this is me kind of doing that look again but a more updated version to that look so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video and also be sure to go to my instagram and like the picture on my page of this look so stop what you're doing right now and go do that or while you're watching the video go over to my instagram and like the picture of this look and if you're not following me follow me on instagram to keep updated on everything that's going on with me but yeah let's get into this makeup look don't forget to like comment subscribe Mwah. To begin, we're going to start off with a clean face and then I'm going to prime my face with this amazing cosmetics anti-aging face primer. I recently received this and I've used it a couple times and it is amazing. It reminds me so much of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. It leaves your face feeling so, so smooth. Moving on to foundation, I'm going to use my Burberry Cashmere Foundation. This is in the color Chestnut. I used this once before and I don't know how I feel about it. I have to use it a couple more times to really, really figure out how I really feel about it. But I kind of like it. I just feel like the color is kind of off. But it's still a really good foundation. And the brush that I'm going to be using to apply this foundation is this brush that I received from this company called Eloise. This is a teardrop brush and I'm going to be using it to apply my foundation and it is amazing. The brush feels amazing in your hand and the bristles on the brush is just so soft but yet so sturdy. So this brush is really, really great. It blended out my foundation so perfectly as you can see and it was just so easy and quick. With this foundation, I did have to go back in and apply another layer because the foundation is kind of lightweight. So I went back in and applied a second layer of foundation, which was just perfect. By the way, this brush is not only for foundation. It can also be used for powders or to blend out concealer. It can be used for absolutely anything. You can just play with the brush and see what you like to use it for. Now I'm moving on to highlight and contouring. I'm going to be using my Ruby Kisses 3D Contour Artist Palette to highlight and contour my face. Right here I'm applying one of the lighter shades for highlighting and I'm going into the darkest shade for contouring. I don't normally do this kind of heavy highlight and contouring, especially contouring. I don't normally do this kind of heavy product with contouring but for this look I just felt like doing like a really really full face so I decided to just carve out all the areas that I wanted to highlight and contour and just do it this way you know just switch it up a little bit because I feel like I always do the same thing sometimes with my face look so I try to switch it up a little bit for you guys and to try different things so now I'm just blending this out with my beauty blender 
By the way, I blend out the contour first and then I go and blend out the highlighted areas only because I don't want to blend out the highlighted areas and then go blend out the contour areas because I feel like with that, the lighter color transfers onto the darker color and it makes that lighter. So I go over the darker color, then go to the lighter color, which I don't mind if the darker color mixes with the lighter color a little bit. I hope you guys understand and I felt like telling you guys this because I know a lot of videos I watch when females do their highlight and contour like this and I always used to wonder which one do they blend out first <laughs> so I know some people might think the same thing so this is just me letting you guys know why I do it this way and this is how your face should look everything should be completely blended together perfectly to set those areas, I'm going to be using my Givenchy Matte and Translucent, Translucent, <laughs> Translucent Finish Loose Powder. This is in the color Universal Nude. I decided to use this because I wanted to do something different. I wanted to just use something other than my Ben Nye Banana Powder. So yeah, I'm just going to try this one out for this look, which turned out really nice. Now I'm going to do my brows and I'm going to be using my NYX eyebrow gel in the color Espresso to fill them in. I know you guys always ask me to do my brows in my videos so I decided to start doing that in my videos. At least some of them I'm going to include my brow routine. So here I'm just filling in my brows. The front of my brows are like really full. The only area that really needs anything is like the arch and the outer area. But the front is extremely full. I don't really have to do much there. And now I'm just shaping up my brows with my LA Girl Pro Concealer. And I only shaped up the bottom, not the top. Then I just go ahead and blend it out with my Beauty Blender. To highlight my brow bones, I'm going to use this illuminator called Gilded Honey by Laura Geller. Then I'm going to go on to my eyes and for my transition color, I'm going to be using a blush. This is not an eyeshadow, it's a blush. It's the only color that I found that was like pretty close to the color that I was looking for. I did not have an eyeshadow with that color. Now I'm going to go into my Shani Cosmetics palette. This is one of the palettes in the 7 layer palette. And I'm going to take this brown and I'm just going to blend it into the crease area and kind of mix it with the transition color. Now I'm going to take my NYX Eye Pencil in Milk and this is what's going to really help the lid colors to really pop. And I'm going to place this all over my lid and basically carve out the area where I'm going to be applying all the colors next. This step is really, really important because you want your colors to like really, really pop. Now I'm going to be going back and forth into my NYX Ultimate Brights palette and my Shiny Cosmetics palette. This color is out of my NYX Ultimate Brights palette. It's just a simple yellow color. And the next orange color is also from the NYX Ultimate Brights palette. And then the red on the outer corners of my eyes is from the Shani Cosmetics palette since my NYX Ultimate palette did not have a red like this. So I used a red on the outer lid area. And I'm just going to be going back and forth now to just blend the colors in to make sure that they all transition really well. So this step was just really like really time consuming. <laughs> I kept going back and forth to make sure everything just blended together really pretty. Now I'm going to pick back up my NYX Eye Pencil in Milk and I'm going to add some of that to my lower lid area because I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing that I did on my lid underneath my eye as well. And I applied the yellow and then the orange and then I went in with the red and just made sure it all blended. Now I'm applying some eyeliner and I'm just going to create a wing and this is my Ruby Kisses Eye Liquid Eyeliner. One of my favorites is in the color black because they have a shiny black and a black. So this is in the color black and I'm just creating a nice wing. I really thought I was going to have one of those bad eyeliner days so I was so happy that it came out very nice. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to add some mascara to my top lashes and my bottom lashes as well. Um, but before I apply it to my bottom lashes, I did go in with a white pencil on my waterline. This really made my eyes pop a lot more and it really made the color stand out even more. 
Now I'm just adding some mascara to my lower lashes and before I apply my lashes themselves, I'm gonna go into my crease area, well not necessarily the crease area, right along the line of the eyeshadow, I'm gonna apply some glitter. I will put the name of this glitter in the description box, but it's a NYX glitter and it really really made the eyes pop even more and it was so pretty now that's it for the eyes and they look so pretty now we're gonna move on and finish up the rest of the face i'm just gonna dust away all the powder underneath my eyes right here and i'm gonna do that carefully because if any eyeshadow fell i don't want it to mix with my under eye color so now I'm going to go into my Black Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder and I'm going to use this to basically add some color back into my face because I was looking ashy just now and this is not how we want to look. So I'm just using this to add color back into my face and right here I'm just showing you the difference from the powder that I added and the side that did not have any powder. So you can definitely see the difference and I'm just going to go ahead and do it on the other side. Now we're going to go and I'm going to add some contour color into the area that I contoured before. I didn't add too much because I didn't want it to be too strong and I'm gonna go ahead and add some blush right now and I don't have all the products in front of me so I don't know the name of everything so all the products will be in the description box if you guys are wondering what I used so just check below. Now I'm applying some of that Gilded Honey to just help my face to glow some more. And my nose was looking type crooked so I went in with my Black Opal Powder to just lightly contour my nose. And in my inner tear ducts I'm applying that same Gilded Honey. And now for lipstick I'm applying, I do not know. <laughs> I do believe it was a Marc Jacobs lip color. I just do not know right now because I do not have it on me, but I will place it in the description box. So that is it for this makeup look. It's so pretty. Came out exactly how I wanted it. So I hope you guys enjoy. And I know I've been away with the videos, so I'm gonna really try to get some videos out here. So if you guys like this look, then let me know in the comments and I'll start to do more crazy pretty looks like this that's very creative so thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe Mwah. my weakness comes and goes it goes it goes